All right, I just want to show you something very interesting, a little theory I actually have with Judas Iscariot. And I've, been, I've said this before in private messages over various social media platforms, but my little theory about Judas Iscariot is that, you know, you read the verses about him, I actually don't believe he was even, you know, human. I actually happen to believe he was a devil in the form of a human. And I'll show you why I believe that. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to John chapter six, verse 70 to 71. And notice how when Jesus Christ is talking about Judas, he doesn't say that Judas is a child of the devil or that he's, you know, possessed by a devil, but he says, you know, he is a devil. You know, have I not chosen you 12 and one of you is a devil. Let's go to the verse. John chapter six, verse 70 to 71. Jesus answered them, have I, have I not, have not I chosen you 12 and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him being one of the 12. So again, notice how he says you, you know, he says a devil, not possessed with a devil or a child of the devil, just a devil. Why? Well, because again, I believe that Judas was not actually even, you know, a human. I do believe he was a devil in the form taken on the flesh of a human. Because I do believe that uh, devil spirits as well as angels can take on human form and, and also walk among humans as well, which is a whole other issue of itself. But also, you know, not only that, Judas, of course, did the will of the devil. You got John chapter 13, verse 26, and to, John chapter 13, verse 26 to 27. Sorry about that, running on some lack of sleep once again. Uh, John chapter 6, verse, sorry, John chapter 13, my apologies, verse 26 and 27. This is why you need to get proper sleep at night. John 13, verse 26 and 27. Jesus answered, he it is to whom I shall give a sop when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the sop, he gave it to Judas, Iscariot, the son of Simon. And after the sop, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, thou, that thou doest, do quickly. So we see he was doing the will of the devil. And also you can see that Judas was actually almost, you can see it, you know, you can almost see him as sort of a typology of the Antichrist since he is called the son of perdition in John 17, 12. And the Antichrist is called the son of perdition in uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, I believe it's verse 3 to 4, if I'm not mistaken. John chapter 17 and verse uh, 12, the verse on that in question. John 17, 12. While I, was, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in, my, in thy name. Those that thou givest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. He's talking about Judas Iscariot there. You know, I also need to point this out as well. Judas was never saved to begin with. Okay, People, people like to use that to prove you can lose your salvation. No, Judas was never born again to begin with. Judas was, was never one of, of Christ, you know, Christ to begin with. You see there, you know, I kept, one, I kept them and none of them is lost, except, you know, the son of perdition meaning he was never in Christ's hand to begin with. Uh, why is Judas being described as going to his own place? Here's a verse interesting on that. You have Acts chapter 1, verse 25, when Judas goes to hell, he is described as going to, quote, his own place. Acts chapter 1, verse 25. Okay, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. Acts chapter 1, verse 25. That he may take part of, his, of this ministry and apostleship from which Judas, by transgression, fell, that he might go to his own place. And this is referring to him going to hell. But why is hell referred to as his own place? Well, this is because hell and the lake of fire were prepared for the devil and his angels. So if Judas was a literal devil, okay, it would make sense to describe him going to hell as going to, quote, his own place, because it was obviously would have been prepared for him. Okay, and why do I say that? Well, Matthew chapter 25 and verse 41. Matthew chapter 25, verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. So Judas going to his own place, referring to him going to hell, it strongly, it only further shows that he was likely just a devil and he was just going to the place that was prepared for him, hell. And of course, then the lake of fire, which comes after hell. So anyway, just wanted to, just interesting theory on that. I do strongly believe that Judas, Judas Iscariot was a devil, not just a human, but actually a devil in the form of a human. Uh, and these scriptures clearly show that and they show they strongly you know uh indicate that i'll just put it that way so anyway may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.